This is Neil Pittori. In this segment, I'm going to talk about gray coding and how it allows us to make fewer bit errors. I'm going to present two different ways to assign bit strings to symbols in this 8PAM constellation. So it's 8PAM, log base 2 of 8 is 3. I have three bits in each symbol. In the method 1, I'm going to just number them as if I was converting from the symbol number in decimal to a 3-bit string in binary. So from 0, I'd have 000, from 1, I'd have 001, and so on, all the way up to 111 for symbol 7. In method 2, I'm going to use gray coding, which instead is going to look somewhat strange, but what you'll notice is that between neighboring symbols, I only change one bit at a time, starting from symbol 0, Going to symbol 1, I only change the last bit. Starting from symbol 1, going to symbol 2, I only change the middle bit, and so on. I only change one bit at a time in each pair of neighboring symbols. Whereas method 1, sometimes I only change one bit, going from symbol 0 to symbol 1. Going from symbol 2 to symbol 3, I change one as well. But going from symbol 3 to symbol 4, I change all three bits. And going from symbol 1 to symbol 2, I change both of these two bits. So when I make a symbol error, our method of coding the bit strings makes a difference in, on average, how many bits are in error. When I send symbol 3, for example, I have this Gaussian bell-shaped curve describing the value that I measure. And if it goes below this threshold, I make an error with symbol 2, but there's a small, small chance that I make an error with symbol 1. And that chance that I make an error by deciding symbol 1 is very, very small compared to the probability that I would make an error with symbol 2, or for that matter, symbol 4. It's very likely that when I make an error, my error is going to be at one of my nearest neighboring symbols and not a further distant neighbor like S1 and S5. So gray coding allows us to make the minimum possible number of average bit errors. Remember that there are log base 2 of m bits per symbol. When I make a symbol error, it's possible I could make up to this many bit errors. But with gray coding, I'm going to make on average approximately one error. And I have multiple bits in each symbol, log base 2m bits per symbol. And on average, I'm only going to make one of those bits have an error. My bit error is going to be 1 over log base 2 of m times the probability of symbol error. And that's it. Not only is gray coding a trick to make fewer bit errors, but it makes approximating the probability of bit error easier.